video that I did, I told you that I would show you guys how I refresh my curls. So today I just wanted to go ahead and let you know how I do that. Um, this is how I sleep. I sleep with a pineapple on my head, um, which just means that um, I put my hair up in a very, very high ponytail and then I put a satin bonnet on it. And this is what I wake up with. So this is actually third day hair. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to do, um, really the only two products that I'm gonna use is or are my Dr. Bronner's coconut oil, 100% coconut oil. And like I told you, um, just a spritz bottle full of water. This is nothing but so just water. my pick, my coconut oil and my um, bottle of water. So um, first thing I do is I take off my satin bonnet and this is my hair. I have it in a pineapple, which is just a really high ponytail. Um, and that just protects your hair in the night. And I just loosely put it on with a rubber tie. So put all of that up. So this is my hair. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take my what bottle full of water and just spritz my hair down. And what that's gonna do is just kind of give it some room to groove. So now it's got some movement, it's down. Um, now is kind of when you're gonna decide how you wanna part your hair, if you part it at all. Um, usually I either part it in the middle or on my left side. So I'm just gonna do it like that. I'm just gonna spritz the roots. And that's all I'm doing is spritzing the hair. You want to make sure to get underneath, um, especially like for me, that's where my hair gets the driest, is underneath. So you just want to spritz, spritz, spritz. Then what we're going to do is take our um, coconut oil, and it's in its solid form right now, so it's just like that. I'm just going to grab some, I'm starting off with not too, too much. Just about that much. Then what you do is you just rub it in your hands and it turns to a really oily tinsel oil. So I'm going to start off on the ends because as you know that is the driest place on a curly head. Front is kind of where you want to go easy just because that hair, at least for me, can get really weighed down. So I'm scrunching and stretching at the same time. You will get a little bit of shrinkage, but not too, too much. I usually get the most shrinkage on first day hair. And if you feel like you need to add some more water or some moisture, go ahead and do that. What I like to do is then take my pick and just kind of pick out my roots. Not really pick anywhere else. My roots are very, very fine, so I kind of pick it out to give me some volume. And that's basically it very easy process. If you kind of see that your hair is a little dry in some spots, just go ahead and spritz it with the water. And that is pretty much it. 
So that is how I refresh my curls. I hope that this was helpful for someone. Um, I like doing it with water just because anytime when I do it with something else, um, wow. <laughs> anytime I do it with something else, I get a lot of product buildup. And I just find that this leaves my hair the softest. Um, your hair gets really soft and full and I like that. So anyways, guys, I hope that this is helpful and I hope that you all liked it. I'll just kind of do a quick turnaround and give you the full on results. So here it is up close. Pretty soft. And it's just going to take some time for it to get back big because you just rinsed it. So those are the results, guys. I hope that this was helpful and I hope you enjoyed. Please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day. Bye, guys.